What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Pendleton Speaking Outdoors. On this episode, we are going to be heading to a farm that I've been hunting since college up in Hanover County here in Virginia. But before we get started, make sure to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our new content. Have you ever gone out on a hunt and had a plan of what was going to happen? Your sole reason for being there was this one thing, whether it was a specific buck or fill the freezer or whatever. Um, this particular hunt was that. We had some problem does that were coming out on the neighbor's property out in the pasture, causing all kinds of ruckus and chaos and just being outright disrespectful. Um, so I went into this hunt fully intending on stacking one of these does up so that they would stop messing up my hunts when they would come out into the pasture. You know, they would they filter out into this pasture, they'd tease me, they'd flirt with disaster, and then they would never commit and come on into our side of the property line. Um, on this hunt, I'd had enough of it. I was ready to cut a Zeus loose and put one of these does, put one of these freezer queens, if you will, in a rightful place. Uh, so the hunt sets up. Everything is going according to plan. We've got does working out of the bedding area, working the way into bow range. And, you know, sometimes some things happen for a reason. All right, guys and girls, November 5th at the farm here in Hanover County. And uh, we're doing a little, little meat hunting tonight. Rut is just about upon us. We hunted here yesterday morning and had a three-year-old buck push four does up underneath us. So they're starting to run, they're starting to chase. I just don't think the does are quite there yet. But I got a score to settle with some of these does that bed over on the neighbor's property. You see, a couple nights ago, Dad and I were hunting this place. Had uh, a couple of step out in the neighbor's pasture here, working the way onto our side of the property. And had a lead doe that I was planning on shooting right underneath me. Needed her to take three steps before she was on our side of the property. However, the third doe decided she wanted to get all nosy and loudmouth and in doing so, she cleared the pasture. So, before everything goes all crazy, I'm gonna put one more dough on the ground in the freezer. And I'm gonna have fun doing it. She slipped in here, it was at about 36 yards, and picked me off immediately. When I hung this stand, there was a ton of cover, but it is gone at this point in the year, so. Sticking out like a sore thumb, I guess. A little bit of daylight left, but I'm not holding my breath. So I'm done with the hunt at this point. I'm over it, I'm aggravated, I'm irritated. These does are under my skin and I am ready to be done for the night. I am packing up my bags, I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. So I'm actually starting to pack up my cameras. I'm starting to get the GoPros all thrown back into my bag and, and just kind of done with the hunt. I start hearing footsteps back behind me and I turn around. I've got a Pope and Young buck standing right in front of me at 30 yards and I can't get him in the viewfinder. One, one. Building on the lecture versus coming daily under pressure. Working on applying the scheme, the true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one, one shot for the kill, the breeze come free.
It was crazy. I had pretty much shot off the night. Caught a quick after those dudes. Got all weird. Heard footsteps come and look up. See him walking through the hole where those does came. I'm trying to range that, trying to get him on camera. Can hardly find him on the screen after having him about 30 yards. And I can't find him in the camera viewfinder. He comes down to where I've got a scent wick with rat getter scents. Hot to try it, synthetic dough esters hanging. Standing underneath it, comes and walk by. Turns and leaves. I finally get him stopped and get a shot off his back um, right in front of that hand. He was quartered pretty hard. I watched him run off maybe about 100 yards. I could see the knock bouncing through the woods. I think I heard him go down. I am in no way gonna rush this. We are gonna take our time. He's out of here and see what we got. So it's humble from being just an absolute disaster, just a kick in the sack to all of a sudden, I'm standing behind an empty darton with an arrow that just hit its mark on a beautiful Pope and Young Virginia buck. So in that moment, once I'm kind of collecting my thoughts after the shot, I'm thinking back and I'm like, I have no history with this buck. I have no idea who this buck is. I don't know where he came from, nothing. Um, I go back through all the pictures I have from the last uh, season being on this farm and I'm actually lucky enough to find where I had saved a set of trail camera photos that I got pictures of this buck just a few hundred yards away from where I actually shot him. As far as this season goes, I had no pictures of him. I didn't even know he was on the farm. All right, guys, well, here he is. Um, ended up letting him sit about five hours last night just because I wasn't sure of the shot when I was looking at it on the viewfinder on the camera, which makes it kind of tough sometimes. Uh, initially, I thought I hit the ham, but I was able to get back home, slow it down to about 10% speed, and saw that that arrow absolutely drove right up where you wanted to on a quarter and away shot. Basically cut the liver in half, center punched the left lung, and caught the front of the right. Um, he didn't go 75 yards. This unfolded real quick as you saw in the footage. Steady form kind of helped me lock in. Zeus Broadheads did an absolute job on this buck. Um, put a big hole in him, put him down quickly, which is always the goal. Dart and bow. It's my second deer with this bow, and this thing is absolutely awesome. I am loving this bow. You can see the arrow goes into this buck and he still hasn't flinched. I mean, that's just how quiet and fast these bows are. And rat getter scents, they're synthetic estrus, they're hot to trot. Uh, he came in and stood right underneath the wick. I mean, you can see it in the footage. Um, killer fruit plot, suffuse, cover scents, um, always got my back. So stoked to have this buck on this property, especially it's, it's extra special. So in the days following this hunt, I was actually making my rounds around the farm. I was pulling cars and all the alpha cams and found that I actually did have pictures of this buck crossing the killer food plot that I put in back in the spring, two days before I actually shot him, to the minute. So there you have it. This hunt went from an absolute disaster to me airing one of my best bucks, a nice Pope and Young buck here in Virginia um, in a matter of minutes. This farm has been one that uh, I hold dear. I'm, I'm extremely thankful that I get to hunt it. And uh, it continues year after year produce good deer, great memories, and plenty of meat for the freezer. So until next time, guys, don't forget to hit subscribe, click the thumbs up button, share it with your friends, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of our latest content whenever we upload it. Until next time, guys, kind of mystical.